and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my week 35 pregnancy bump update. So as the title suggests, I am indeed 35 weeks pregnant, five weeks to go until due date, although possibly up to seven until he arrives. Fingers crossed not. I have had a baby on his due date a baby two days early and then a baby five days late. So whenever anybody says to me, when, when do you think he'll come? Like, based on your others, when do you think? I'm like, I have no idea. I've had one of everything. So I literally have no clue. If I'm honest, I'm probably hoping for a couple of days early just because I'm so impatient to meet him. And we may end up sharing a birthday if he is a few days early. Okay, so, I'm going to talk a bit about me and things like that before I go into all of the fun facts from all of my pregnancy apps and things like that. So I am measuring massively ahead. Uh, when I went for my 34 week appointment last week, you may have seen that video, I was actually measuring 37 and a half weeks based on my bump and that doesn't surprise me because the last couple of weeks I have felt huge. I feel like I have almost doubled in size, which I know I haven't, but I have definitely grown. Like even my pregnancy tops, like my maternity clothing, um, is getting like tight around my belly now and I'm like, whoa there. Um, and I haven't put on that much weight. I've put on nine pounds now in 35 weeks, which I don't think is too bad at all. So I know that bump growing is not because I've overeaten, because I haven't. I've tried really hard not to. And yeah, I'm just huge. And literally everybody that I see, I was like, oh my goodness, you must not have long left. Or wow, you're really big. And you're like, thanks, I know. So I do have like all of the general like pregnancy aches and pains that come with being so huge. My hips hurt, my back hurts, <laughs> everything hurts. Um, it's really hard to roll over now in bed. Um, I can't just roll over and go back to sleep. I kind of have to like wake up, roll onto my back and then roll again to get onto my side. And again, if you wanna go back, you have to repeat the process. And nine times out of 10, if I wake up to roll over in the night, I'm like, oh, I should go pee while I'm awake because if not, I'm going to need to pee and then I'm going to have to get out of bed and it just... <sighs> pregnancy part. But my pregnancy app reckons that your baby at 35 weeks should be around five to six pounds. Although based on my chart and how I'm measuring, seems like he's more like seven and a half ish. Um, again, that's estimate. He could be really 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 skinny but really really long and like he could weigh seven pounds but be crazy long and that could be why my belly's measuring big we just don't know um i don't really know if anything else will be done about him measuring big i did get sent for a, another test at the hospital to check that it he was just big and that it wasn't because of a medical con condition um, which all came back fine and clear. I have had growth scans before for large babies. Um, my first was £9.1 and I was measuring ahead with him, but I'm not sure if they do that anymore. I did sort of briefly ask my midwife, but she didn't really seem to think that that would be an option. So it might just be a case of a surprise and good luck which is kind of really scary. So most babies around this stage will, if they're not already, will be thinking about rotating if they are breech into the right position. Every time I've been for my midwife appointment and she has checked his position, he has been head down. So that is really, really good. Hopefully he stays that way and doesn't randomly decide to spin around one day or something, because um, that could be awkward. And the I'm not engaged, which means his head has not gone into my pelvis yet, tends to not happen so quickly when it's not your first baby. With your first baby, they do tend to engage sort of like at each appointment. You could be like a little bit further. Um, whereas like second and subsequent babies, I've heard that sometimes they don't even do that until you're in labour. So I guess he'll do that when he's ready. But this... <laughs> This week, at 35 weeks pregnant, baby Jackson is apparently the size of a kid's backpack. Um, so if you watch our daily vlogs and you see the kids with their Avengers backpacks, or Olivia with her, she has like a pepper one and a Minnie Mouse one and things, 
that's how big he is apparently. Hopefully he's a little bit wider than those because they are quite thin. This is something that I absolutely love looking at. I look at this every single week. Um, and this is all about baby's hand size. So the outside line is what size your baby's hand would be at around 40 weeks when they are born. And the pink hand is how close they are to that each week. And I just think that that's really, really cute. I love to look at that so much. So obviously I am in my third trimester, which means thinking about things like bringing baby home and hospital bags. I do actually have a video that may or may not be up yet about what is in my hospital bag for baby. Um, because I am trying to get organised and have everything done so that I can just relax for the last few weeks. Um, so yeah, that is basically it for me. I won't have much else to tell you until next week's where I will... Ne <laughs> until next week's update and I will have had a midwife appointment by then as well. I'm not sure if I will combine the two or if you will get a separate video. Um, for the midwife appointment so if you have a preference on that then leave me a comment and let me know and I will know which to aim for um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you bump now it's really difficult to do it here so I'm going to have to stand up and do it and insert the footage here so this is my 35 week bump nice and big so this was my 35 week pregnancy bump update. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!